welcome to you all. It's great to see old and new faces. Um, I'm Sarah Edwards. I'm the director of the Just Money Movement, which is convening and hosting this space today. Um, we're really excited to gather along with others that are already connected with the Just Money Movement or those who simply want to find out more. And we've got a really exciting morning planned with some very focused practical skills building and some to you. And we hope that will um, leave you better equipped to act and to speak up for a fairer, greener world. It's um, great to be holding this year's conference online because it means we can involve people from all over the country. But there are just a few practical things to consider along with that. Um, so I'll just mention those now. We're aware this is quite a long time for you to listen and be on your uh, on your screen. So do take breaks away if you need to. We will have breaks in between sessions just for a couple of minutes, as well as the longer break that's listed in the programme. But if you decide you need to dip out of a session and, and come back after a bit, do just look after yourselves. Uh, we really want to encourage you to stay to the end and make the most of the time. As I said at the beginning, as you were coming in, please do keep yourselves on mute unless you are contributing and speaking so that we won't be interrupted uh, by any unexpected noises. Um, there should be a little microphone button in the bottom left of your screen to do that. Um, I've already said about recording, so I'm just gonna run through the program for this morning. Um, maybe we can have the slide up for that. Uh, we'll have myself and others from the Just Money team doing a little bit of an intro to the organisation and some of the things we, um, some of the ways you can connect with us. Um, then we're going to have a short time of worship and prayer. Our first speaker this morning will be Chine McDonald at 10 on the tireless fight for justice. And then our three practical workshops will be firstly, Sally Mann from Red Letter Christians UK on spirituality and activism at 10.30. Then secondly, David Walker from LICC on what is money for at 11.30. And then thirdly, Fergus Lamb from Hope for the Future on engaging your MP. And then our final um, speaker for the morning will be Natalie Williams on acting with mercy just after one o'clock and we will wrap up um, at 1.30. So uh, let me kick off a bit more fully then by sharing a little bit about the Just Money movement and our approach, which is, as our name says, to contribute to a movement for change. We really believe that an active and diverse movement of people, people, from Christian churches, alongside people of all faiths and none, can build space, open up space for the transformative change that we need to see in our financial system and in our wider economy. And that our actions, whether those are our own choices with our money or um, what our churches do with their money, or using our voices to campaign for changes in the way that banks and businesses operate or in the tax system, that all of those actions add up to more than the sum of their parts. We're in extraordinarily challenging times, um, whether that's in terms of the wider crisis of, in nature, extremes of inequality, conflict and disorder, both globally and at home. Our vision of a fairer, greener world and the contribution that money can make to that is nevertheless hopeful. We continue to hope that together we can bring about change for good. If you're here, we consider you to be part of the movement and you're very welcome. If you're not already signed up to receive our emails, that's the easiest way to connect with us, to find out what's going on and to get involved. And there's a slide there with a, a QR code that you can do that or you can do it on our website as well. I'm gonna hand over to, to Rosie and then George to tell you a little bit more about some of the ways you can get involved with us. Thanks so much Sarah and it's lovely to see you all this morning. Thank you so much for taking the time uh, to be online this morning. It's really lovely and sunny here in Worcester and I hope that it is sunny for some of you wherever you are. Um, I just wanted to say a little bit about ways that you can be involved um, uh, in the coming year with Just Money Movements and, and George, my colleague, will say a bit more as well. 
Um, you hopefully have spotted that it is Good Money Week this week um, and it is Good Money Sunday tomorrow. Um, we've long been involved with Good Money Week. It's part of a, a much broader movement that began as the National um, Ethical Investment Week um, with people of all faiths and none. Uh, but this is the second year that we have been partnering on Good Money Sunday as a particular point in the year for churches to focus on faith, money and justice themes. And uh, there's a, a resource pack, probably slightly too late if you're preaching tomorrow, but uh, if you do want to download it, if you're still preparing prayers for tomorrow, there's a whole host of resources that can equip you um, to introduce, to weave some of these themes around how we act justly with our finances into your worship and prayer um, tomorrow. But please do feel free to use those resources at any point in the year. I hope that they will be really useful for you whenever it's right for you to explore these these types of themes with your group or your network or your church. Um, so Good Money Week is a, is a point in the year, a high, a high point in the year for the Just Money Movement, alongside Fair Tax Week and Tax Justice Sunday, which is in June. Uh, and there's a date for your diary there for Tax Justice Sunday coming up on the 8th of June next year. So we hope that these two points in the year are opportunities for you to engage others in your church, in your community, um, to go a bit deeper into some of the issues, to take part in campaign actions, to, to preach, to teach, to pray around these issues. Um, but the resources that we produce to accompany those two weeks and those, those special Sundays, I hope you'll find useful at other points in the year as well. Um, this year for Good Money Week, we've been taking a particular look at banking. Um, so we've, we've uh, updated our ethical banking guide for churches. I'll pop a link into the chat uh, for that later. And we've been talking more about the big bank switch, which is encouraging Christians to switch to a greener bank uh, in the coming year. Um, so lots and lots of things to get involved with. We'll be posting links in the chat as we go along this morning about different things that you can you can join in with and share with others. Um, but I'm going to hand over to my colleague, George, who's just going to say a little bit about our Champions Network and the work that he's been doing. Over to you, George. Yes, thank you very much, Rosie. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sarah, as well, for that wonderful uh, intro there. My name is George, and I'm the movement builder for Black Majority Churches uh, with the Just Money Movement. And I'm glad to welcome you uh, to a conference uh, today. It's a beautiful day. <clears throat> and um, I just want to say that one of the ways you can also be involved, apart from what Sarah and uh, as you have said, is to be a champion, to join us actively, uh, you know, be uh, uh, proactive in what we're doing and be part of it and and uh, get involved in your local community, in your church, in your charity, uh, wherever you are involved. You could be the hand, the leg, the mouth, uh, uh, the physical representative of the Just Money Movement by being a champion and so we do encourage people to at the end of this event if you want to register that you want to be a champion you want to be part of what we're doing we'll be very happy to welcome you to uh, become part of this team and uh, believe you will be very excited doing uh, work along with us some of the things we do as champions uh, include pro uh, presentations in your local uh, community uh, we also do what is called AGM activism, where we represent uh, in, uh, interest and, and go to speak on behalf of uh, people who are unable to speak for themselves in AGM meetings of uh, big uh, conglomerates and all that. And uh, we also uh, work uh, in terms of uh, racial justice and equity, and, and we have had lots of success on that. And who would like to get you involved in this if you can. So if you have some free time we, uh, that you can use and offer to Just Money Movement, we will be very happy to welcome you to be part of it. And uh, it's a service to, to humanity and a service to God uh, in a way that you will never regret and you'll be happy. And you can use your skills in the area you already work, you know, to, to say, I want to serve in this area and your skills, your current skills can, uh, with a little bit of training and tricking here and there, can be useful, uh, useful to the organization and to the, and to the, and to your organization as well, to your local community. 
So I want to welcome you, and I want you to know there are loads of ways you can be involved. Uh, don't just be, like the Bible would say, and a hearer, but you can become a doer as well. So thank you and welcome. Thanks very much, George. Um, George, I wonder if you would open in prayer for us as we gather as a community um, before we hear from our first speaker. Can I can I hand back to you to just open us uh, with a time of prayer? Thank you. You'll just need to unmute, George. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to just have the word of prayer and uh, uh, read a few scriptures that will be helpful to put us in this mood for what is coming up next. And uh, today I'm going to uh, read a few uh, scriptures that will be uh, taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 96, 1 to 2 and 11 to 13. Uh, which says this, O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and the, that feels it. Let the fields exalt and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he is coming. He is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the earth with righteousness and the people with his truth. Lord, as we gather together today for many different places and from many different communities, we pray for our speakers and workshop leaders and for what they have to share, for smooth running of the program, for our learning and conversation together, for churches engaging in Good Money Week and Good Money Sunday, for us all to seek more of God's kingdom, values in politics and economy, for a strengthening of the movement for a fairer, greener world, Supporters Conference, we pray that you will take over. And Lord, we ask that your name shall be glorified. We ask that today, that as people have come from every corner to join us in this meeting, that you will bless us, bless the speakers, put your word in their mouths. Lord, we ask that everyone shall be blessed and inspired, and they will live here better equipped to serve the community. Our Lord, we ask, O oh God, that you will raise in our hearts the passion and the compassion for those that we serve. Lord, we ask that you grant us the enabling spirit, the, the enabling mind to be able to go out of here ready to act more for you. We give you praise and we thank you because we know that your name shall be glorified at the end of the day. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Rosie. Thanks, George, for that time of, of opening prayer. Um, we have a few minutes, actually, Rosie. I don't know if you want to say a little bit about the uh, the banking guide, a little bit more about that, and a little bit about the big bank switch. Yes, of course. Yes, I will do. Um, so we've been 
producing this ethical banking guide for churches for the last few years um, because people have been contacting us over the years and saying we would love to bank more ethically as a church. Uh, how, where should we go? What do we need to think about? Um, and we know that that's an, uh, an increasingly a conversation that's happening at a local level. Um, and so we yeah, produced our updated guide this week. Um, we look at four of the more ethical banks um, that provide accounts suitable for, for churches and for charities. Um, and we look at some of the ethical issues that you might be uh, interested in learning more about, and um, particularly in, uh, about those banks' climate policies. I know lots of people who are involved in the eco-church movement are looking to bank in a greener way with a greener bank, and so that's become more of a focus for the guide. Um, so yeah, I'll make sure there's a link in the chat to that. Um, we're particularly interested in hearing from churches that are exploring banking more ethically. Maybe this is something that you've, you've long been doing and you switched a long time ago. Um, or if this is something that you're considering. It really helps for us to have case studies and stories to share um, with other churches. And I think taking that, taking that step of uh, banking more ethically at, as a church is a really good way into encouraging that kind of practice and thinking amongst your congregation as well. I know it's not always an easy thing to do, but we hope that our guide is, is a way of starting that conversation, uh, perhaps looking at your banking to start with, but there might be other things around your investment policies that you might want to go on to look at as well. So that's one resource that we've yeah we've updated for this week for Good Money Week, um, and the Big Bank Switch is a campaign that we've been running uh, since June this year uh, with Operation Noah and Just Love, the Young, young Adult Student Network, um, to equip more Christians to think about their banking and to switch on mass to greener banks, to switch away from some of the big high street banks that are still investing in uh, fossil fuel financing and expansion. Um, and we've had, I think, almost 200 Christians pledge to switch this year. Um, we'd love to see that grow. We'd love to uh, be able to communicate that there is a real movement for greener banking um, amongst Christians in the UK. Uh, so even if you have switched already, uh, you can still tell us that you've done that. Or if you'd like to pledge to switch this year, you can do that on our website. Um, and we give you some resources to help you discern where you might switch to. Um, and if these are things that you um, would like to talk to others in your church about, then there are some Switch It Sunday resources uh, with um, uh, liturgy and worship that you can use and discussion questions if this is something you'd like to explore with your church this year. Um, and there are newsletter articles and things that you can share uh, as, as education for others. So we tend to think of, of ethical banking as a really good way into thinking about how we act justly with money how you engage with your bank, how you um, enter into like, that conversation around their ethics and policies, and how we champion alternatives, so how we champion banks that are good news for local communities, for the planet, for nature. So yeah, I can see this as banking might seem like a, like a quite a technical way to start, but I think it's a really helpful way uh, into thinking about how we live faithfully with our finances. And it's, it's an area in which everyone can take action. Um, so we'd encourage you to look at those resources. We'll put some links into the chat later. Um, and I'm going to encourage everyone as you joining this morning, I think some, if you if you joined a little after 9.30, you might have missed Sarah's introduction, but we're just encouraging people to share uh, who they are, where they're from in the chat. It's lovely to see people starting to do that. So if you have arrived recently, you just want to put something in the chat just so that others know who else is on the call. Um, it'll be really nice to know who we're gathering together with uh, this morning. Um, I was just going to say as well, Rosie, maybe if people have stories of having managed to successfully switch their bank accounts, either as an individual or um, even as a church, it would be great if you wanted to share that in the chat too. We're really keen to share stories to encourage one another of the actions that people have been that's through the big bank switch or with our guide or not or separately. Uh, it's always really encouraging to hear those stories. Um, I think we're still waiting for Trinity to join, so I'm going to say a little bit more about Tax Justice Sunday, I think, as we've got a few minutes. Um, so the main focus of this week is Good Money Sunday, which is about how we use our own money, but our conference covers all the different ways in which you can engage with the Just Money movement. And we have a big, uh, major focus of our campaigning activity is on tax justice uh, through the Church Action for Tax Justice campaign. And every June, so in October or end of September, beginning of October, we have Good Money Week and Good Money Sunday. 
And then in June each year, we have Fair Tax Week and Tax June. So do put that in your diaries now, as Rosie said before. And similarly to Good Money Sunday, there'll be resources available for you to engage your church with that um, and uh, other events happening through the week, ways that you can find out more. I'll be saying a little bit more about our wealth tax campaign, which is the main focus of our tax justice campaigning at the moment, later on when we when we get into talking about um, lobbying our MPs. But um, there's lots of ways you can get involved in the tax justice campaign through, through the website, through the emails. Um, so if that's a particular interest uh, to you, then um, do uh, do get in touch, do see if you can find out more through the website or, you know, be happy to, to chat to you more as well. And I know that Sue is, is with us, who's the chair of our tax just, of our church, church Action for Tax Justice uh, Committee. Mm -hmm.